Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to cover the first step of the accounting cycle, which is the step where economic transactions occur. Let's take a look. So what are economic transactions in terms of accounting? Um, as you see here, economic transactions are business activities that change the assets, liabilities, or shareholders' equity of a company. In other words, if you're familiar with the balance sheet, these are activities that ultimately change the composition of the balance sheet. The balance sheet contains information about the assets, liabilities, and shareholders' equity of the company. And if we recall carefully, um, the balance sheet has to hold a very specific equation um, true at all times, and that is A equals L plus SE, illustrated in this diagram here. Assets equals liabilities plus shareholders' equity. In other words, what the company owns equals what the company owes others plus its net worth, or another way to think about it, the much easier way to think about it is if you rewrite the equation as SE equals A minus L, right? The company's net worth or shareholder's interest represents what it owns minus what it owes others. Now, you may be saying, but wait a minute, but but the balance sheet, um, that's the balances of your assets, liabilities, and, and, and shareholders' equity, but, but what about income, right? What about when you sell a product, you make revenue, is that not an economic transaction? Well, it absolutely is. And if you notice, I break down over here, shareholders' equity. Shareholders' equity has actually two main components. The first component being the paid-in capital. So what the shareholders actually gave the company. This is represented by the common stock, preferred stock, additional paid-in capital. And then, of course, also in shareholders' equity is what we call the retained earnings. So every time the company produces net income, it has two options. Give some of that income back to shareholders in the term of, of dividends, or keep that income within the company to keep growing the company. That's what's called a retained earning. You're retaining the income, retaining the earnings. Um, they still belong to the shareholders, and that's why they're a component of shareholders' equity. So if we break this down further, shareholders' equity is paid in capital plus retained earnings. Retained earnings is your net income less anything that you give back to shareholders, the dividends. And your net income is comprised of your revenues and expenses. So even though um, when we say, oh, you, you sell something, right, and you get revenue, that doesn't on the surface seem like, oh, that doesn't impact assets, liability, equity. It absolutely does. It just impacts it very specifically through the fact that net income flows into retained earnings and retained earnings is part of shareholders' equity. So anything that affects the income statement will ultimately affect the balance sheet through this path. Anything that otherwise affects the balance sheet directly, assets, liabilities affect, um, that is all considered economic activity or economic transactions. Something to keep in mind, transactions will always have a double impact on the accounting equation. Now, what do I mean when I say double impact? Well, remember, A equals L plus SE. You can't move one without moving something else. For example, if assets go up, that would throw the equation out of balance without some countering effect. And there could be three different countering effects here. One option is liabilities also go up. Now our equation is in balance. Another option could be equity goes up. Now our equation is in balance. Another option is one asset went up, another asset goes down. Now our equation is in balance. No matter what, every single economic transaction must have a double impact on the accounting equation in order to keep that equation in balance. And as I said when we started this video, this right here, this is the first step of your accounting cycle. The company conducts an economic transaction. That's it for this one. I hope you found it helpful, and I hope you join me for another video.